Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Columbus, Ohio. Now, we're going to a spot I've wanted to go my whole entire life, as long as I can remember. You see, when I was a little boy, occasionally, my mom would me stay up really late to watch David Letterman with her when Jack Hanna was on. She knew how much I loved animals. And when he would bring the animals on the David Letterman show, and then we learned that Jack Hanna was the director of the Columbus Zoo. And I feel, I mean, this was a zoo, but he helped establish it, put, put it on the map. And I was like, I have to come to that zoo. And that's why we're here. Yeah. We're here at the Columbus Zoo. And we get to bring you along with us to show you what it's all about. So we're about to head in, look at some animals. I heard there's actually a classic carousel, which I know Joy is also looking forward to. And all that good fun. But before we do, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If it is your first time, glad you stopped by. And if you've already been here for a few, well, I'm glad you're back again. All right, comment down below. Look, I think it's time. You ready for the Columbus Zoo, Joy? Let's do this. You ready for the Columbus Zoo? All right, step right up. Let's go for this ride. Columbus Zoo, and Aquarium, and Zambezi Bay. We're here in the fall, so uh, they do have a giant water slide park and like theme park section. Water pipe slide park? I was trying to convince you, we should go on water slides. Um, first it's closed, because it's the fall, but Joy was like, no, no, not, 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 no water slides in this weather. Heading in, we got our passes and we got bracelets so we could do all the rides and attractions. <laughs> not bad, I love when they have that. $10 a little add-on. Yeah. And we're in our planet, Explore Nature. It's always, uh, when we come into a new zoo, I'm like, where do we go first? Where do we go first? Uh, very good. Zoo entrance. So we came in here. Here's the new Adventure Cove area. It's a, it's a big zoo. We actually even go under this road to a second whole area. Stand on the inside here. I see them. I see some sea lions. First animals at the zoo achieved. Hello, sea lions. <laughs> Before I was looking at the children's window, now we're looking at the main window. I like the viewing. You can look down or above. We're gonna check out the inside views. I like this big tunnel with Adventure Cove. As we're going in, we, the water is thin above us and also is below us. So the sea lions could go fully around us, but at the moment I don't see any sea lions. We got a little friend here. He's not coming near the tunnel, but we found one. We just did the North Pool underwater viewing, but now we're gonna go check the upper viewing. <laughs> now we see why you weren't in the water. You're getting lazy little nap times. I love the facades that they have. The salt box, salt water, taffy. Caution of melting glaciers. Someone just splashed them. Do not let that guy up. <laughs> He's a young male and he's being very annoying. <laughs> 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 No one wants to play. He's trying to get them all playing. <laughs> this one still wants them to play. No one's playing. Life is rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like pouting in the corner. Animal Encounter, the Jack Hanna's Animal Encounter Village. No. It's like, I'm gonna give you my back. I'm trying to get inside. Next animal, I've never seen this kind of fox. It's called the bat-eared fox. Look, he's just sleeping on some sweatshirt. 
all the cozy. Like and the other one, one is in the, tub. yeah, the metal tub, wow. sleeping in some hay. I love their setup. Got his little swing. We have a red rufted lemur cleaning himself. Yeah, the red rufted lemur sleeping. I guess we came at the sleepy time at the zoo today. Keeping with the theme, the great explorer, Virginia's a possum. You can sort of see a little tuft of fur sleeping in his barrel. We finally found some animals that are awake, the capybara. We're just hanging out, having drinks together. I love that. Back in the day, Sideshow used to have, for a dollar, come see the world's largest rat. And it was these guys. We have Pier 39, which actually is the pier in San Francisco at the wharf. Asian small floored otters. These guys are so cute. What I love is if you look at his little pink nose, <laughs> Otters are one of my favorite animals. They are cutie pies. And one of my favorite, the little stinkers, striped skunk. Joy thinks skunks smell bad. I think they smell wonderful. You are a cutie. I love how the enclosures are meant to look. Like here we have like a city park. But they have all their hay so they could go cuddle and stay cozy. This has to be some of the cutest displays. See fresh produce, and right here, plants make the best meals, but if you look in these two bins, we have two sleeping sand cats. This is with the eggs. And there is another one with the eggs. What do we have over here? That's a cockatoo. Cockatoo just got mad and threw his whole, his whole little bin down. What did you do, Mr. Cockatoo? You belong, you, you're in Avery's Outdoor Garden supplies, 50% off. I two coupons. We have two different kinds of porcupines. This one looks more like the Indian crested porcupine. They also have a North African crested porcupine in here. But I only see the one. Stingray Bay. We found a pop up at the zoo, Stingray Bay. Wash your hands. Joy's now all ready to touch the stingray. I love the salty seal. They actually have a gift shop in here where at Stingray Bay. He's coming over. He's like, pet me, pet me. It's so crazy. It's like you think that they're there and then they're just... They're deeper down. That guy can see Yeah, he, he was splashing saying hi. I love the different colors and looks of the different ones. It kind of soft. Oh, here's one for you, Joy. He's close to the top. I like them. They're soft. They're so cute. <laughs> Can I get one on his bed? No. Huh. She's joking. <laughs> that one's on green. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're flocking him. They're flocking them. Uh, Getting splashed. Cause he's got hair. You can feed them too? Oh, that's cool. This is so cute around the fountain here. You have different animal prints. Next to this awesome fountain. It reminds me as you come in like Universal Studios, the big globe in the middle. It does. I do love that there are some like upcharge attractions like cheat experiences, reindeer experience. Elephant bath experience. Some cool extra add-ons if you wanna. The zoo's actually so big, we actually have a tunnel to go under the road to another whole part of the zoo. We're heading to Shores and Aquarium, Australian Island, and Congo Expedition, the African Forest. I'm sure there's an aquarium here. There's a line for their touch pool if you want to touch some selfish. I always love a tank that has so many varieties of fish. And I like this guy. Looks like an angel fish, but a little different. And here is the Discovery Reef. It's 
crazy. The discovery is 20 feet wide, 65 feet long, and 13 feet deep. It contains 85,000 gallons of water kept at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's talking how the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium is proud to be an active supporter of Seacor Foundation. Seacor provides worldwide coral reef conservation through research, education, outreach, and restoration. I love that me and Joy actually learned about coral reef restoration when we were actually in Arizona. You would never think the Segura Desert of Arizona would be where you learn about coral reef restoration. But we learned about it at Biosphere 2. We'll actually put a link to that down below. Beautiful zebra sharks. Yep, yep, this is for me, Manatee Coast. I love me some manatees. Years ago, I wanted to get a manatee tattoo. But I didn't want the head, I wanted the whole body. My friend was like, you know, you're just gonna have a giant gray blotch. I still contemplate it. Oh, four manatees. We were talking about the manatees part of the goal of Manatee Rescue Rehabilitation and Release Program. Here we have a list of all the manatee rescues since 99. During their stay in Columbus, the staff of Manatee Coast goes above and beyond making manatees as healthy and strong as possible. Releasing manatee back into the waters of Florida. Their manatees have some cool names. Ash, Mary Kate, Ashley, Lizzo, and Cardi T. And you can see a lot of these were orphaned and rescued within the past two years. Look at him, he's so playful. Sad when you see when people don't listen to no wake zones and manatees have scars on their back. This guy looks friendly. You can help save the shores of wildlife. Drop for you here. And it's like Plinko. Ooh, you hear? The shores got happy. Thank you for helping the manatee. Good job. You just helped save the manatee. You're welcome. Good job. This is so cute right outside the aquarium. It's like a little children's play area. Let's go play. <laughs> You got the whales that are spitting the water. <laughs> Let's not get wet. <laughs> Let's not get wet. No. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. No penguins, sadly. It says that a lot of the birds like these and the flamingos were currently monitoring a strain of avian influenza in wild birds. So they, they put away a lot of their birds that live at the zoo so they don't catch that avian flu. Reptiles. Ooh. And the first reptile we come to. It's a Florida alligator. He's padding along. He's a big fella too. Not too big, but at least 10 feet. Only reptiles may eat and drink inside the building. You see what they're eating? Bugs. I love the whole ceiling. Is a snake skeleton. Not a real snake skeleton, that'd be scary. Timber rattlesnake. Always wear high hiking boots. I love the face on these. Green tree python. The center of this building is awesome. Starting from the compass up to the lizard with the globe. And there was that big snake swallowing the moon. I love this turtle named the Mata Mata. What's a Mata with you? This place is cool, like the bones built into the displays. There are frogs all around the bottom. 
big titty caca frogs. Yeah. Those rocks have legs. Some more turtle action. Oh, look at this one. He's like pulling him back. He's like, no, I'm gonna go up to the front. <laughs> oh, you're finding your favorite animal. <laughs> so how is it petting? He was so cute. He's, he's a pancake tortoise. I never seen one. He had a little flat shell. <laughs> we have some caiman. There. Look, he's just like using his one hand to hold onto the filter, help him float in place. There's some beautiful turtles. Look at the size of this one. We have a striped, narrow headed, soft shell turtle, species larger than the heaviest of freshwater turtles in the world. And wedged under the rock. The American alligator snapping turtle. One of my favorite turtles of all time. I do love people look at snakes as like scary things. And yeah, these might be venomous. But I love how like they just cuddle to stay warm. Past the reptile, we actually come to the Grand Carousel. What I like is this isn't just a new carousel. This Grand Carousel, manufactured in 1914 by William I. Mengel's company with wood horses caught by the Marcus Illinois Company, was first located in Olentangy Park, which was an amusement park in Clintonville, 1938. On June 17, 2000, the restored carousel with the original 52 horses, two chariots began spinning its magic at this location. It is a beautiful carousel. We just got off the carousel. I got to ride the lead horse. And I love, we look up high. Manufactured F. Mangles Company Carousel Works. And the carvers are MC Ilion. But one of my favorite things is the two benches. We'll show you the one on this side. They actually look like chess pieces, the knight. And the one on this side is the black knight. The one on the other side is the white knight. Off to Congo Expedition. That? Congo Expedition. The mandrel, like the carving like a mask, that is awesome. This has got to be the most amazing slide that there is. I want one now. In the Congo Expedition, I like it. It's like a boardwalk walking path that loops around the Africa area. We have some black and white calabus. This is interesting. On December 22nd, 1956, the Columbus Zoo welcomed Colo, the first zoo-born gorilla in the world. Joyful Columbus residents flocked to welcome the tiny bundle. I didn't know the first ever captive-born gorilla was right here. I guess we could get up close in person with this leopard. I like this zoo. Animals are like, come see me. This is crazy. Look at this. Look how close we are to a leopard. Joy. I don't think we've ever been this close to a leopard before in our lives. This is pretty amazing. We actually have a statue of that first gorilla born in captivity Wow, born 1956. Lived all the way to 2017. Oh my god, this is one of the coolest gorilla enclosures too. Is it going to come over here? Is it going to come say hi? Of, <laughs> uh, just like we're looking in at the girl, the girl is looking at the people. The way they could climb all over their enclosure is amazing. He's showing everyone his box. This, this girl just carried the box over to the window we were just standing at. I found the mandrel. This is in his viewing area. But if he's right here, and I could see him quickly. Hello, yeah, you. Hello, Mr. Mandrill. Some more mandrills. <laughs> it's like, is this leaf food? And now to Australia and the islands.
Australia and the islands. And Dinosaur Island. And Dinosaur Island. <laughs> We're making our way to Dinosaur Island. See, it would be $3, but we got that wristband. So we get to go right on to Dinosaur Island. Hi. So cool. We have some tools. And we already have our first dinosaur. This one just caught a, a fish. during the Cretaceous period. Now him on the island of Madagascar, which is of interest because his closest modern relatives are in South America, which of course wow. suggests some sort of a connection. The big eye. Now whenever you encounter a T-Rex, whether it's in a place like this or in the movies, they're always <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I love that we're at a zoo and I'm about to get on a boat ride through dinosaurs. Through dinosaurs. This is like worth me coming here. I love seeing the animals. I love the conservation. But dinosaurs on a boat ride? <laughs> and we're off. On the Jurassic <laughs> Dinosaur Island boat ride. Are you ready, Joy? It's a boat ride. What is there to be worried about? But it's Dinosaur Island we're on. Too much movement. They stay in their enclosures, right? Um, have you seen some movies? It doesn't work like that. No, I haven't. Tell me, what, what did I miss? Wait, wait, what? Hey little guys, you're just curious to see us, right? Yeah, hi. Joe, are you excited for the splash down at the end? No. <laughs> it's a good thing because there isn't one. <laughs> this is actually the better view that we could get. <laughs> Those are some animatronics. Oh, they're Rhea? So we see real animals besides just dinosaurs <laughs> on this? Yeah. Even better. Ooh. We can slap each other. Mm -hmm. But he calmed down. Look at that. We go from primates to dinosaurs. <laughs> like the tunnel walls. Baby's just hatched. We see your babies. <laughs> we got no frills but spitting. The Dilophosaurus. Oh my gosh. He got us. <laughs> We're back. Hopefully the camera lens is dry. Joy got a little wet. That dinosaur spit on her. <laughs> now we get the other angle of them. Look at him, he's just hiding out, waiting to spit on me. Oh my and that was uh, that guy that just spit on us. Carnotosaurus. That's not my dinosaur. Okay, okay, you can be my dinosaur, I'm sorry. Oh. Stegosaurus, and I like you. You don't spit at me. <laughs> See otters in the boat. Little otters. Go in the water. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, 
a baby triceratops. Where there's a baby, there's a mummy. <laughs> Mommy's protecting the young from this predator. Oh, that's amazing. Rockosaurus. Rockiosaurus. <laughs> and there's our boat ride. <laughs> I didn't know we were getting wet. It's still worth it. Did you have fun? I did. <laughs> and then we have some orangutans. The one on the left, I'm gonna name him Linus. See, so you got the emergency blanket. Kangaroo station. Yeah. I'm like, I'm this close though. We're not allowed to pet him, but I love that we're actually walking. Yeah, and if like you look how rare, the kangaroos could walk all around. This is so great, like there's no like... There's no barrier. To yeah. be like, you need to take a picture through We're it. in with like, the kangaroos. No. Correct. And they actually they get on those right away. Yeah, they eat. Look at them moving. You see that weird? It's a huge thing. Throughout the kangaroo enclosure, there's all these fun facts. The kangaroos can reach a speed of 25 miles per hour. And also, the dingo is the predator of the kangaroo. Keep the ruse in mate. Open one door at a time. Now let's wait for this door to close. Now it's safe. <laughs> We actually have a koala. Koala is one of my favorite animals. And we see his little head peeking out in the bushes. He's just chilling. Best souvenir. Which one did you get? I went for a gorilla. Mm -hmm. Seeing that they said the first gorilla in captivity was born here, I'm like, I should get a gorilla. We made our way to Asia Quest. Welcome to Asia Quest. We're coming through the spooky pumpkins. Sad showing different big cats. And you see where the statues are gone. Those ones are the ones that now are extinct. That's why I'm saying extinction is forever. It looks like we have some good animals up ahead. Yeah, all the animals that we're going to see in Asia Quest. See like, it says rhino. There's a rhino. Oh, it's cool. All the lights are based off the areas. Here we have the Australia Island. Here we have some of the Congo pumpkins. North America. This is at the Strange Extinction Station. And it's showing some of the animals that are left. Passenger pigeon, dodo birds, ivory bill woodpeckers, Bali tiger, Amur tiger, South no, China Amur tiger. Amur tiger now boarding. Oh, they're boarding? Okay. Bali is departed. Okay, I get it. So the departed ones that are fully extinct. No, Mark IV is rescheduled. So is the sun bear. I'm rescheduled. glad the sun bear is rescheduled. I love sun bears. Sloth bear's playing with something. We're hoping he walks closer. And he's standing here for a while. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Is this better view of the sloth bear? He's looking down to his lower area. He can go down there. I wonder if there's another sloth bear that's downstairs that he's looking at. Were you afraid of the turtle? But you're not afraid of all the large flying foxes? And there's another sloth bear outside. I love when we get to see all the animals. Elephants and rhinoceros, the vanishing giants. Footsteps of the future, hopefully. The future involves elephants and rhinos. Well, it did say out there that they have their choice of if they're inside or outside. I know. 
I hope we can see the elephants outside. So I want to see Frankie, a male born 2021. I found what I was looking for. I found the baby elephant. Born last year. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Yeah, beautiful. It helps for pictures. <laughs> Uh oh. And you can even get his reflection in the water. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, I like this. Elephants are very good swimmers. Um, when they are here, they're obviously just standing on the concrete bottom. Sure. But they, uh, when they're in the water that's over their head, they swim very close to the surface. Mm -hmm. You can see the red panda, and I was saying there's special up close exhibits this is what i have signed up for i want to be that close to a red panda we have some mark horse i love when the animals are just as curious about the people trekking hut a stop on your journey to tiger pass <laughs> i see that smile big cats and elephants we saw the red panda and we saw the mark horse. now we have Pella's cat. Oh, there's my son bear. And the tiger. Here we have Pella's cat. A little small wild cat. It is funny when wild cats are small and they look like domestic house cats, but it's definitely not a domestic house cat. We got sleeping tigers. These are Omner tigers. The biggest of all wild cats and the biggest of all tigers. I got another tiger. Might be giving us a cold shoulder, but we got a good view of him. Oh, there's a yawn. I got a yawn. The tail end of the rhino running away. Bye, rhino. We were inside. Now he came out to see him and he just ran away. But we got a good view of uh, one of the male elephants, an elephant bull right there. We're in the North America area and we have Mexican gray wolves. My favorite animal of all time, wolves. They're my spirit animal. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. That's what you call downward facing dog right there. Oh my, I'm nervous. This is amazing. Like six or seven of them in here. We have this Habitat Hollow kids meet area. And I just had to show you. It's the fruit striped zebra. We've made our way to some prairie dogs. Just trying to find a prairie dog. I found one, I found a prairie dog. It's a, I'll name it Joy. <laughs> oh. Even got a train ride, the North American Express. This is another one of those step up fees. It's $2 to ride the train. We bought those wristbands, so this included. We found some wildlife, little birdies. The next piece of wildlife before we even left, there's a rabbit. Still waiting for the train to go. But again, the wildlife's coming to us. The children's pitting area, sponsored by Bob Evans.
saber tooth. Cats. Dinosaurs are being hatched. Unicorns at the, the Bit and Spur Company. Dragon. I'm nervous. They're taking us to the woodshed. I like the old tiny villages. I wish there was some animals on the train. It's more just a fun train ride for an old tiny village. Yeah. So you know. Lynx, moose, black bear, otter reindeer. I like all of them. We should go that way. There he is. He's sitting on top of this tree house. Look at that. It's so cute. Found the big moose. People don't realize how big mooses are. I'm going to tell you a quick story. When I was 17 years old, I had my license for one week. And me and my friends were driving to Mount Washington in New Hampshire. And it was around 1 a.m. We were still trying to get to a hotel. I'm like, I'm around a road. I'm glad my friend was driving. Because he slams on the brake, was standing in front of us, is a giant moose. And uh, let's say the head was near the driver's side and the rear was near the passenger side. And he kept cracking jokes. If he didn't stop, I would have been impaled by a certain part of the moose's anatomy. Well, the moose was fine, we were fine, but it was a running joke of his for many years. Just wanted to share that with you and that Mr. Moose over there. The Columbus Zoo has opened um, since 1927, and one of the first animals that came here was a reindeer. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. We found some reindeer. He's just eating around the sides. An Arctic without ice would be like a garden without soil. Uh, hopefully uh, the world starts to change in positive ways that global warming subsides for a while and we still have polar ice caps. No polar bears for us today. Aurora is moving towards her den and while this is a good sign that she may be pregnant, we remain cautiously optimistic. Polar bears are all the big draw in this area, as you can see from their big enclosure. Big enclosure for a brown bear, I don't see him. Really puts things in perspective on sizes. Look how tiny the sun bears are. Giant panda, American black bear. Polar bears are quite large. Brown bear, Asian black bear, sloth bear, and spectacled bear. I love them all. And if the polar bear was out, you could sniff him. Allow the... Oh, and the bear could sniff you. This is the sniff port. Allows the bear to sniff guests. The brown bears also have one of those sniff ports. Allow the bear to smell zoo guests. We found one animal in the polar area. The sleeping arctic fox. Hello. This one heard joy. He's like, hi there. I'm a little cute arctic fox. You are. Come on. No? You're so cute. Just popped his head up to say hi. Brown bear viewing area, and I feel lucky. We have one big one hiding behind this tree. Look at the size of those. That's a big bear. We have a brown bear. Just think, grow up to a thousand pounds. Not like our, our black bears that grow up to 300 pounds. These have to be the most cutest play areas ever. Ever. You have a tundra buggy to climb through. And some polar bears underneath there too. Only one more land to go to. Africa. Greatest bench ever. It's Jack Hanna. I was wondering if I was going to see you today at the zoo. This is awesome. I love this bench. World's bumpiest ride. We got two camels as soon as we entered the Africa section. First animal we come to on the left. And if you're curious how bumpy camels are, you can ride one here too. 
I know why we're here today. We're not really showing you food options because we don't even feel we have enough time to see everything at the zoo at the time we got here. We get here at 11, it closes at five. But if I was to eat, this is where I would choose to eat. Not because of the food that they have, but because of this view of what looks like would be their Serengeti. Field life field guide. So out here we have aardvark, jackals, ostrich, warthogs, guinea fowls, kudus, gazelles, storks. I don't think the lion's out there for all those other guys. Hyenas, zebras, giraffes, wildebeest crane. I guess that's what we see in the whole Africa section. I like the way they do it. So they hit it. It's two hills, so this is the whole lion area. So you don't realize he's not part able to get to those other animals. I love theming at this place. The Ajabu Airstrip. Watch off lions, see you have four planes. You could view the lions from inside this plane. So right here we have a good view of that lion. We have two female lionesses down there. And the, and the male lion right over here. Lion's the most family oriented of all the cats. Lions are hanging out away. It must be awesome when they are on like the wing of this plane. And you can be sitting in here looking out at the lions themselves. That must be pretty awesome. Because there's the plane area, there's a lot of children noise around the lion enclosure. And the plane itself, they can play around for the trolls and make some noise. So I think the lion's just hanging out by this rock, just chilling. You hear them in the background, someone trying to start playing it. Oh, big yawn. This is amazing. Two buddies. We have the cheetah. No, I, I know what you're saying. That's a Labrador Retriever. No, he's good friends with the cheetah. They're in the same place. You see, there's the cheetah and there's the dog hanging out buddies. It's funny how different me and Joy are. She's like, I want to put the cheetah and I'm like, I want to pet the doggy. <laughs> so the dog that's in there is also to help reduce the human cheetah conflict. Okay. So because they'll see the dog friendly with the human? I think it's something like that, or like the smelling of the dog, the dog also. Interesting. Cheetah's the world's fastest land animal. Gone into the back. Did you see that zero to 60 in three seconds? Cool tents, we have a mess tent. See Jack Hanna and his family. And we have all the camera equipment in there. We got some vervet monkeys scratching their butts. And I like, we get to go into Jack's tent. And from Jack's tent, we're able to look out at the varvet monkeys. It looks like these monkeys ravaged Jack's tent. They took his sneaker, his Tupperware. They're curious and playful. About to feed your ass. We got our little lettuce. All right, if you want to, we'll feed Sammy right here. Actually, <laughs> Two more for you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I know. I wish I had more. I got one more. One more. You got it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. I like to feed the baby. I love this little guy bending over to eat too. It is crazy how they just made all the enclosures with these little valleys so they all look like they're all in one area. There's all the other ones down there. 
Yeah, all the other giraffes are, are hanging out at the wedding. It was a wedding. We see bridegroom giraffes. We didn't get our invitation, but the giraffes did. <laughs> Greatest sign ever. Trespassers will be eaten. Look, I'm in the plane, and I can see the female lions. Where's the male lion go? He's went down and around. Yeah, he's probably Yeah. Oh, wow. He's down there. But you see the two female watching the male down below us. I just can't. And there's the plane that you could go in. We went back to the we went back to the cougar area. We saw that one. But if we look in the back, there's two more over there. You Jackman's cabin. Hey, I heard you're in the new Deadpool movie. I'm excited to see you. <laughs> he's all excited. <laughs> so she's not hungry. She's looking for a place to hide back for later. Oh. And that can be funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to find just the right spot. To put it. <laughs> And of course, she wants it for her, you know, not for her baby. You know? <laughs> the beaver's actually out. I want to sing him my song. I'm a beaver, you're a beaver, we're a beaver all. And when we get together, we do the beaver call. And yeah, 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 and yeah. You don't have to exit through, but of course, we are gonna exiting through the gift shop. What a nice size gift shop it is. I ran around this gift shop for I don't even know how long and I was getting upset. Um, I found shirts, I'm fine with that. I found a really cool red panda that actually has the Columbus Soup branded on its back end. Um, but I was upset because I thought that they would have animal paintings here, you know, paintings that are done by animals. And I couldn't find it and I was like, well, this can't be, what's going on? But lo and behold. We have a collection, one day Joy wants a room of paintings painted by all different animals. Oh, that guy. It's that guy's painting. <laughs> As we're leaving, we have one more Jack Hanna sighting. I want you to wear khaki if you want to come work at the Columbus Zoo. If I lived close, it's a possibility. So there you have it, folks. A fun day out at the Columbus Zoo. Yep. I'm glad that we got to go, and I'm glad we got to take you with us. We've wanted to come here for many years, so it's a dream come true for us. It is. And it, it was worth it. Now, I have to say, this suit blew us away. It didn't look that big, but it is quite big. And each of the little lands has so much packed in it. And then like added attractions like a carousel, a boat, a train. You take your time. Give yourself a whole day if you come to the zoo. Oh yeah. It is awesome. It's time for us to say goodbye, and it's time for us to say goodbye to the Columbus Zoo as well. Yes. So, Columbus Zoo, been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels, good eats, and live life.